find it. Oh, Joe, you probably burned the carpet again. And, and look at these ashes. Oh, the carpet. The carpet? What about my hand? I almost burned it off. Honestly, Joe. Oh, besides, it's good for the fuck. And look at these papers. You know, I pick up after you all day long. You think when night came, I could get some rest. Oh, which reminds me, are they home yet? Who oh, did? Oh, uh, well, well, not exactly. Not exactly. Now, what sort of a crazy answer is that? Well, uh... 1.30, is that clock stopped? Don't be silly, dear. Well, where are they? Well, uh, they're probably on their way home right now. It's remarkable, that's all how you can see these things. I'd give a fortune to have your eyesight on their way home. Don't be sarcastic. Well, I suppose you can read the speedometer in the car and tell me how many miles they have left to go. Now, you don't have to be such a bear. I know it's late, but they're young, and it's just up to us to find a way to make them understand. Well, a good stiff hairbrush would do it. That went out with the horse and buggy. Never mind. Do you realize that Liz has been out gallivanting with a different boy every night of the week? And told me why she's just a kid. Well, after all, their safety in numbers. Well, that's what you think. Are you speaking from experience? <laughs> bah. Hey, what about two? They're out together. Oh, that's great. One's as bad as the other. I don't understand it. You try to be lenient with them, and they take advantage of you. Well, what they need is a firm hand. Now, don't work yourself up to it. After all, it is their vacation. I know. And you can school them just as well in the morning. I don't like it when you lose your sleep like this. You know how you feel in the morning. You've had a rough day in the morning. I worry about you. Well, you know I don't approve of this. I know. Now, what on earth do they find to do until this hour in the morning? Have we been married that long? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think I'd better put a stop to this. That's right, honey. You'll get your rest now. You go along, and I'll be along in a minute. Well, I don't like this one bit. I know. Oh. Can't my cigarette. Oh. I'll be right there, dear. And again, I should stand by your father. I just didn't want to row tonight. Now, hurry along to bed before you finish. Thanks, some of your dear. It's such a wonderful time tonight. The dance was so And the food. Oh, Mommy, it was super. Now, hurry along to bed. That's enough of that for now. Mommy, you're a tea. Good night. Good night, dear. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Good morning. Good morning, dear. Good morning, dear. Hi, Dad. Well, good morning. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Father. Well, it's about time you two... Remember I told him Norma was going ahead with my formula last night? I just don't know how it's going to be fixed. Oh, you just bought it. What a pity. You're supposed to dance in it, not through it. I'm just crushed. Sure, I thought it was going to see me through the entire season, and now I just don't know and what I'm going to do. the entire season can see through it. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, Mother, what am I going to do for another one? Well, she's not going to charge it. Uh, more coffee, dear. Uh, yes, I will have some more coffee. It helps keep me awake. I'm very tired. Father, did you read about that horrible train wreck? Forty people hurt. Two trains turned over. Yes. Oh, Daddy, what a nice looking tie. My, you look oh. handsome this morning. Well, Father, is a very handsome man? What would you Oh, yes, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Isn't he, Mother? Eat your breakfast. Well, it won't work. Now, let's get down to cases. This business of gadding about every night has got to stop. No daughter of mine is going to stay up until uh, 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 only three uh, three o'clock in the morning. Well, no, it was only one thirty. I. No, Daddy, it was three o'clock. We're sorry, Father. Well, I should be sorry for not paying the rent or for not showing up at the office. Being sorry is one thing, but doing something about it is another. But it took time to drive everybody home, Daddy. We did hurry, though. Honest. We're going to have to manage to get it earlier, girls. It isn't good for your health. That might be all right for children, mother. But after all, I'm a college woman. Why, oh, you, you traitor. Since when do you have any more privileges than me? Than I. I suppose I really shouldn't have kept the child out so late, but 
this was a special dance. It certainly and I was. We dropped my boyfriend off first, and I had to sit in the car an hour and a half before she would come in. Yeah, how do you like well, that? Well, you little stupid dance. Oh, I oh. have to say that you're both lucky I was too tired to stay up. But I intend to lay down the law right now. You'll both be punished. I wonder whether Paul his no date would be too easy. Toby! <coughs> You'll need that much time to catch up on your sleep. You're absolutely right, Father. And after all, what's it all for? And I'd ask tonight. It would be different if I were ready to marry, but oh, it's also insignificant. I don't think Paul is to be too busy. What are you trying to build, you little weasel? Now, I'll be the judge. You won't get off scot free. You're right, Father. I don't think we should. Don't strain yourself, Toby. Well, there'll be no dates tonight or any other night this week. That's all right with me. I don't have a date. And, uh, maybe that's there. Fix yourself, I do, too. Like that to do, not without a car. Why, you little <laughs> So, you see, whenever they do get together, it's wrangling. Well, tonight you'll have plenty of time to pull each other's hair because nobody's going out in that final. I'm your juvenile. I'm a grown woman. You can't do this to me. Oh, yes, I can. What about you, Father? No one ever says anything when you come in here. Elizabeth, that's disrespectful. All right, I'll stay at home and fix my old formal. Well, take your time, my dear. You'll have a whole week. Oh, she'll find a way to wiggle out of it. No one's going to wiggle out of anything. I'll be right here to see for myself. Have to do that, Joe. They'll mind me. Oh, no. This time I'm going to be here. They know how to get around you too much. Well, I'm not going to argue with you. We'll save money. You bet we will. And that goes for your club, too. Sure, so right, I'll give up my club. You'll give up your poker. Well, that means no poker. That means no poker. Well, can't you think of anything? Come on. Well, what kind? No, no, they don't like wrestling. No, no, no lectures. I know you're trying to help us. Ballet? Oh, great. But so what about the tickets? Aren't they all sold out? You will? You do? Fine. How much? What? What the scalp of friend going to do? Have his chauffeur bring them over? All right, all right. I'll pick them up over there before dinner. <laughs> For those prices, it ought to work. I'll see you later. I hope. Hey. Don't tell us, Joe. Yes, about $8 a piece. Uh, no, uh, yes, one piece. You are in a club. Daddy, you're sure we all have to stay home tonight? Bill said there's a small show at the castle, but I You'll love stay it. home, just like I said. After all, this is going to be a pretty expensive evening for me, too. Exactly $24 worth. When did they ever let you win $24? Well, that's how much the ballet tickets cost that I'm supposed to get in the mail today. But a bargain is a bargain. You mean you bought ballet tickets and we're supposed to tear them up? Oh, dear. Oh, our money doesn't money to the Oh, so you're against me, too. No, you're adding to what I mean. It, it's just that, uh, well, I suppose I should stand by you in, in your decision. Oh, now, wait a minute, Ethel. <laughs> if I ever tried to get away with anything like that, I'd never hear the end of it. <laughs> you're not going to make me out the ogre. <laughs> then you let us go. Oh, yes, you're oh goody. <laughs> well, you all can't go. I could only get three tickets. Three? Yes, one of you girls will have to stay home. Well, well I don't say I'm let go. Well, I can't share one of the tickets in half, can I? Well, I'll stay home. Oh, no, 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 no. You've been working around the house all day, I'll and I wouldn't hear Daddy, of that. Um, maybe, um, couldn't you? I mean, well, um. Well, all right. You three girls, though, I'm pretty tired. Anyway. Oh, Daddy, you're a piece. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that's so big a thing. <laughs> yeah, well. I've got to run along to the office. That yeah, might be a good idea. <laughs> I'll have dinner over at Dick's house. I don't know how you can find it. Oh, Joe. 
Yes. How much did it take for that? What? I, I gotta run along. I think you'd better. I'm gonna sit up all night tonight if I have to. You're darn right. Why don't you children get to bed? Last night it was three o'clock. Tonight it's two fifteen. You're both gonna catch your dinner. Mom, if you want the truth, we're waiting up to bed. Oh, so that's it. Well, after all, Mommy, Daddy's always insisting that we be in early, and well, Jim and the shoe fits. Well, Liz and I figured he's always following us that out. That's disrespectful, Toby. Mm -hmm. And you could both save yourselves the trouble. Huh? I didn't know that that's what you were up to, but if you'd be kind enough to put your ear against your father's door, you'd hear a very loud snore. What? You mean he's been asleep all this time? He turned in early with a headache. Good mother, how of course, if you feel you must be offensive and doubt my word. After reading him out of the sun. We're sorry, Mom. We thought that we didn't know. And you've done enough thinking for tonight. Let's get to bed so I can turn these lights out. Oh, no. Oh, you might at least bring something for someone else, you stingy. You're not crippled. That's enough for tonight. Let's get to bed. Okay, Mother. Nice. Good night, dear. You <laughs> <laughs>